So Newton's second law follows on from the first and says that the overall resultant force, the net force, F net as it's sometimes written, acting on a body, is equal to the mass of the body multiplied by the body's acceleration. Now what that's saying is that the net force is equal to the mass of the body times its acceleration. F equals ma. Okay, this is probably the most important um, thing to remember through Newton's laws. Okay, F equals ma. Now, we've kind of already seen uh, that before when we've described weight, because remember we described weight as mass times gravity. So where gravity is the is uh, nine point eight the acceleration due to gravity, okay? So weight here is the force equals mass times acceleration, okay? So we've kind of already seen it before. Now, how does it link in with uh, Newton's first law and what we've been dealing with with um, uh, forces in equilibrium, okay? Well, what we've been doing is we've been looking at saying, right, okay, um, we've got these forces being applied to a particle. Okay, so we've had these forces, okay, that's been pulling at this particle. And the particles we've been told is in equilibrium. So here's force number one, here's force number two, here's force number three. Oh, didn't do that very well. There we are. So what we were saying then is we were adding up those three forces. Okay, and what we were getting was zero. And we were putting it equal to zero because the particle was in equilibrium, which is when the acceleration is zero. So in actual fact, the right-hand side of our equation has actually always been the mass of the particle times zero. Okay, we just haven't bothered writing the m times in. So all of the things that we've been doing before still stand. However, because the particle can now be accelerating, we can now introduce onto the right-hand side of the equation mass times the acceleration of the particle. Okay. Now, to, be, to make this equation really work, I've got to make sure that's a vector as well. Okay. But that's how it's going to work. Okay. So we're just introducing a right-hand side to the equation that isn't just zero. We can now have the particle's mass involved and uh, a particle that is accelerating.